Good evening, I'm Tom Common for Good Rockin' Tonight. We're at the Cleveland Metropolitan Agora, upstairs at the Agora, as a matter of fact. And Ken and Kevin are with me. They are thrashing doves. Yep. Welcome to Cleveland. Thanks a lot. Now, exactly uh, what is a thrashing dove? I mean, I've never <laughs> seen one. Uh, it conjures up a lot of images. Well, they're, well, they actually are. They're, they're small white birds that from the desert that fly backwards to keep the sand out of their eyes. Well, that's good. Did you think that one up? No. No? <laughs> okay. No, uh, it's actually the title of a poem. Oh, really? Uh, By who? Jack Kerouac. And what's the poem about? Is this like one of your favorite things that you've ever read? No, not at all. <laughs> Far I didn't even it. like the poem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just like the name. So. Great name. Great name. And this is the first tour in the States. That's right. How's it going? Well, it seems to be going very well, I think, on the whole. Yeah, it's... It depends when on the first tour in the states. It, it ultimately depends on radio play. Mm -hmm. Like all the show, all the areas where we've been getting radio play have been sold out shows. In the areas where it's essentially the commercial stations that can really push gigs. But we've been really fortunate to have such a successful college album because the college support has been great. Would you say that the crowds in America were any different from England? Are they nutty or reserved? Or I think they're a lot less reserved, really. And I don't think we're necessarily better than they're better than English ones. They're just they're not afraid to show if they like a band. They won't go away and try and read up interviews of the band or to read what the press seem to think about the band before they'll decide. They'll just decide there and then whether they like the band or not. And, uh, That's our experience of playing 13 shows in America. Yeah, really. <laughs> we actually, I think, we prefer playing here. It's more. I think you can just say, right, we're going to go out and play some good, loud, exciting music and everyone's going to have a good time. Whereas in England, like Kevin was saying, people are inclined to nip to the back of the hall and get the NME out and quickly check whether this is a band. They, they start tapping the foot and then they go, stop, stop, stop. You know, and then they go and read the NME you know, to check it's hit. Whereas here, people are having a good time. Mm -hmm. They seem to. The, band, the, the new album, Bedrock Vice. The first album. This yeah, is it's, the first one. Well, it's definitely it's definitely the best album we've ever made. Oh, well, by far and away. Best yeah. and worst, but you know. Uh, <laughs> Are you happy with it being the first album? I think we're as happy with it as, as a band could be with the first album. Mm -hmm. I think there's always there's always things about a first album that you, you think, oh, I wish I'd played that lick, or I wish I'd sung this like that, or I wish we'd arranged that song like that, or we'd put that in another key. I mean, obviously, there's always those things immediately you finish. But generally, bearing in mind we use different people on it, I'm pleased with the continuity we got. Mm -hmm. 